Good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. Hi. Lipstick mama getting her thing on over here. <laughs> I see a foot. I see two feet. Hi. Oh, we gotta make your bed. Get your room picked up. Start our day off clean. Yeah, we need to, we need to do something about this. That was better. Nope, she didn't help. Hey, girlfriend. She didn't help at all. We gotta get up. <laughs> we are ready for school. It's time to rise and shine. Sing like God, glory, glory. Give God. Give God the glory, glory. My mom used to walk in my room when I wouldn't get up, and she would sing at the top of her lungs. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Can't yeah. figure out why I hated going to church. <laughs> Come on, sweet girl. You're gonna do Easter stuff today at school. Yeah. How fun is that? Okay, you ready? Let's go. Let's go, sweet girl. Come on. Looks like you guys are so okay, annoying. Tomorrow you're able to sleep in, so let's do that tomorrow. No school tomorrow. Yay. Four day weekend. Come on, Ev. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna make your bed. Come on. Let's go. Oh Get boy. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> hey, good morning. Rise and shine. Time to play. Oh, that's good. Sneeze on her. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Making your bed. <laughs> this is absolutely not like a proper parenting tip thing as far as like cleaning a room for making her bed for she should do it but ain't nobody got time for that this morning actually her bed we pretty much never have her make her bed because uh, can you see the outline right there see that patch i don't know what it is but making her bed makes her so mad i think it's just because it requires a lot of muscle control and it's challenging for her so she gets really frustrated because she's not not very successful with it uh, she, she gets so mad when she makes her bed. One time she actually had a bit of a tantrum during her bed making and put her foot through the wall. Right there she was laying on the bed and like flutter kicked the wall and put her foot through it. So we don't have her make her bed anymore. It's like an avoidance thing, you know? It's a pretty common parenting tactic. We avoid the things that are the worst, but I'm not saying it's right. It's just what we do. Oh my goodness. There's Cheerios all over the floor. Are there? Yes. Get your shoes, kiddo. That's something we've never been able to do. Hand her food in the back? Yeah, I know. I'm jealous of that. Oh, uh, this is the wrong feet. You have them on the wrong feet. Yeah, you do. Oh my gosh. Look, they're all in her seat. Say bye to mom. Good job. Look, they're waiting for you. Say hi. We slept really well. Priscilla's got to, gonna get her hair done. I was gonna say gotta get her hair done. I gotta get my hair done. I gotta get mine done. I'm, I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna see if she can cut mine before she does herself. But why? Why? I don't see anything wrong. With There's roots, sweetheart. Let's what does that see. mean? There's roots. See on the dark. Everybody has roots. Oh my gosh. I haven't even brushed my hair today. I just put it up. That's what you do on hair day. Priscilla does highlights. That's pretty much her natural hair color, but she has highlights. Yeah. Is that what she does? The little highlight? Yeah. Action? Does she cut it too? She does. Yeah, I have layers, so it looks, it, it is fuller. Oh yeah, you need fuller hair. Yeah. <laughs> this, this girl has so much hair. Watch, when I was here trying to put my hat on, uh, it's not going to fit on her head. No. Oh my gosh, you're Look. smashing my head. Well, it's not my hat, it's your head. Look, I wear my hats loose, see? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks better, right? So much better. Feels so much better. Hair's not in my face. Okay, I've gotta go pick up a bicycle for Isaiah. So, if you guys have been following along, um, for a couple of months maybe, Isaiah and I started getting into mountain biking, which which we do frequently enough. I feel like we do it quite often. Um, <laughs> my mountain bike broke, fell apart, 
and then I was adjusting Isaiah's brakes on it and I just went to test the brakes on, on his bike and the chain popped off, wrapped around the front the uh, front gear set and, and bent the front sprocket, the low gear like a taco. So I took them both back. It's been a long time since I bought a bicycle. I think, I don't know if I've ever bought a new bicycle, to be honest with you. Um, so that was the first new bikes we bought and don't buy bikes from Walmart. Uh, not, a, not a good choice. There are many, many other options. So what I did is I found, I found a good quality bike, but an older one, like much older, but good quality, used from a guy. So I'm gonna go buy a bike for about the same money you'd spend for a new crappy bike. So I think it's a good, good decision. Then my boy and I can go ride again. How we going? Bikes, let's go ride bikes. My little office. <laughs> getting work done. I'm getting work done too. <laughs> hey, give me a sexy turn. You gotta do the turn. Oh yeah. Maverick! Oh, Maverick. You got him? I got him. Headed to the vet. Maybe he'll clean up all the Cheerios while he's back here. Oh yeah, I bet he will. Okay. Hi! Cool. Yep. Yep. He's got the Cheerios. He'll take care of it. Thanks, bud. You're going to the vet. He loves going to the vet. Hi, buddy. Hi. How are you? Are you so excited? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you smell other talks? Okay, so we're going to go in. Ace is staying in here. He's going to finish the vlog. Yeah. He's working hard. Yeah. What are you doing? Trip out of the car, buddy. So we actually got Maverick from the Savannah Humane Society. Um, so I like to bring him to the Jacksonville Humane Society for all of his checkups because all the money here goes back to the Humane Society. So I feel like that's a good cause. So we bring him here and it's super cute. It's like a little nice area. So that's my recommendation just because I feel like we're giving back. What do you hear? There's no puppies in here. What, do you wanna play with somebody? Is that what you thought you were gonna do? So you gain 10 pounds in a year. So they said to be careful about that. But um, I told him that we had changed your diet, and so we had to adjust the scoop. So he only gets one scoop now instead of two of the dry food and then um, a quarter of the can of wet food. So we just had to make a little adjustment and he'll be fine. He loves coming to the vet. He's such a, because he loves all the people and the other dogs. He did not not want to get on the scale though. I feel your pain there, bud. What are you so worked up about? Maverick, you did so good getting your shots. You didn't even whimper or anything. They're like, he's the sweetest, friendliest dog ever. Oh my goodness, you're gonna need a nap after all of this. Maverick, clean bill of health, buddy. You're good to go for a whole year. Way to be healthy. Come on. Good boy. He did good. He did good. He's, he's good. He got his shots. He didn't even cry. I know. I'm struggling. I am. I am plugged in over here. I got the laptop going. I am connected to the internet through my phone. I'm just. I'm just trying to make things happen. The vlog might be late. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Okay. It is 5:12. Vlog is supposed to go up at six, but I'm having computer problems. Actually, I've got some software issues or hard or driver issues rather going on. I gotta get inside work on that. Becca's here with Abby. She picked up Abby from school. Let's go see your girl. Hi. Well, that didn't last long. Abigail, do you know how hard I worked cleaning your room this morning? Yeah. Do you think you're funny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? You're gonna clean it with me tonight. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? <laughs> hey, I gotta go up and work, okay? Let's see you a little bit. You having a good day? Happy? Happy's good. Mm. You gonna ride the golf cart later? 
You gonna ride the golf cart later? You're not? <laughs> it's doing it. It's doing it. It's a good thing. I only got 18 minutes left. What do you think? I like it. It looks so much smaller because it it's a tight. it's a 26. Ride it. Let's see what you think. I only rode it to the car. I didn't ride it far because I had flip flops on. No matter how old they get, you buy them a new bike. It just feels, you know, dad buying his boy a bike, you know? Those brakes are crazy. What do you think? Almost went over the handlebars coming up on the driveway. So it, it doesn't feel as small as it looks, does it? No. It Isn't that crazy? Good. Especially with the seat, like I'm leaning forward, so yeah. I feel more compact, I feel like. Right. Feel like good? It. it feels really good. Those bike, those I'm brakes surprise me. So it's an older. Yeah, I almost went over the Like it's a, it, it was a really high end bike in the day, but it's an older bike. Mm -hmm. So it, you know. Mm -hmm. So good, huh? Yeah. We I just need to swap good. out your pedals, but I got some pedals for mm -hmm. it. So. Yeah, there's a tiny little There's itty bitty pedals. Cool, man. I'm glad you like it. I love it. What you been doing? Been hanging out watching YouTube videos? You ready to get ready for bed? What is this? <laughs> babies laughing. Who doesn't like babies laughing? Okay, today's comment of the day, question of the day, is from Hina Mahmood. Said, just curious what the story is about the golf cart. How did Abby's preference for it get started? Love the idea. So, we had a motorcycle ATV repair shop for a number of years. Uh, for eight years, we actually closed that down right at a year ago. And every time Abigail would come to the shop, like after school, Priscilla would bring the kids up there. The kids actually, gosh, they, like Priscilla and I were the only ones at the shop. It was just us. We were the only employees for a, a while. Yeah. And, and the kids would come up there after school and hang out because they were much younger then. So they, they had, I had built a playroom for them in the back and everything. Well, Abigail loved riding on things. You know, we worked on golf carts. We worked on side-by-sides and four-wheelers and like the, the big two-seater go-karts and stuff. And she always requested to ride. So we would take her out on a little ride. Every time I did a test ride, you know, like through the woods or around the parking lot and stuff, she'd want to ride. So it started there. And then my dad started coming down uh, to stay at the RV park every single year. And, of course, he had a golf cart. Uh, that's where the three-wheel golf cart came from. Um, that was his golf cart. And we actually, so we did, like, Caitlin's ride for autism, and she loved the golf cart. She's, like, that was just her jam. Every time we go somewhere, like an event, you know, they have, like, golf carts out, like, for the employees to ride around on. Abigail would try to commandeer the golf carts. The zoo? The zoo, oh, my gosh. She's constantly the trying to steal the, <laughs> the zoo employees' golf cart. And so we came home when my dad was leaving town uh from staying at the rv park he lives in virginia and he was leaving town and we came home and the golf cart was sitting in the yard he left the the three-wheel golf cart for her i'm pretty sure we cried um so that had been abby's for a long time that came from my dad so it's pretty cool so yeah that's how it all started good question dad of the year over here i pissed off both of our children one fell swoop they're both upstairs in their rooms now. Yeah, Isaiah, they Isaiah in there. <laughs> yeah, because they went there. Those are mad at me. Isaiah, um, he has work to get done. Even though he's got a four-day weekend, he has end of the year stuff coming up, and he needs to study. And we were talking about school, and he hates talking about school and grades and stuff. So he's mad at me. And uh, Abby, I I got her nose cleaned up, wiped her nose a bunch, and made her use the bathroom. That made her mad. I'm not mad. At Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. You're my, so you're, my, you're my ride or die. I'm teammates. So, well, I wouldn't say ride. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. There are moments. Don't worry. The night is young. You'll probably go up to the room mad at me, too. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us every day. I feel, that was very Roman Atwood. Think, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. But I mean it. See you tomorrow. Bye. After the beep. Beep. Hey, you guys remember 10 days ago when we celebrated Maverick's birthday? You're a terrible dog mom. I was 10 days off. <laughs> she just saw on Facebook in her memories that that today is was Maverick's birthday. Well, yeah, now. The 19th is Maverick's birthday. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, Maverick. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday again. It's you like, know gosh, I'm getting old. These birthdays are flying by. <laughs> Those fancy nighttime routines you see on YouTube, this is what happens when they become teenagers. They just pass out in whatever clothes they were wearing. 
And then you have to get them up to get them to put pajamas on or brush their teeth. Hashtag real life. <laughs>